Who are you? My Chemical Romance. And who is in My Chemical Romance? Five guys, four guys from New Jersey, one guy from Chicago. And who are you? Gerard Way. And who's beside you, Gerard? Ray Toro. I am beside, I am beside Gerard Way. Right off the bat, My Chemical Romance, I'm stoked to talk to you because you like Swedish death metal band? Like At The Gates. At The Gates! Wow, you do your homework. Yeah. I love At The Gates. What can you tell the people about At The Gates? They are amazing! I think At The Gates is probably one of the most influential and best metal bands in the last decade. I think that was the best metal record of that decade. Yeah. Slaughter of the Soul is yeah. just retarded good. Yeah, like I saw some sort of poll, and they were like number one of the 90s, like best metal album. Absolutely the best. They couldn't even make another one after it. That's how good it was. So, so I'm pegging you My Chemical Romancers as at the gatesers, meaning kind of metalish. Are you guys kind of metal? Um, I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of metal, like uh, Ozzy Osbourne. You're not afraid to say no, you're metal. Yeah. No, not at all. Not I, mean, metal. I mean, that's part of our, you know, our yeah. childhood, so... Were you guys stoked to work with Howard Benson? Who is Howard Benson, and didn't he do Motorhead? That's why we were stoked to work with Howard Benson, because he did Motorhead. He had done a bunch of other records that actually went platinum, but we yeah, were excited. That was the main, yeah, the main reason why we kind of decided was because it's the Motorhead records. Yeah. Did he tell you anything about Motorhead or about Lemmy? <laughs> always ask him about Motorhead. I think he got sick of it. Right. Every day we'd ask him a new Motorhead story, and yeah. he had tons of he told us that um, Lemmy survives on a, on a diet of Jack Daniels and, like, Doritos. That's yeah. all he eats constantly. And whenever they were in the studio, that's Doodles, like, I couldn't yeah, remember. Yeah, just, something, something just some kind of snack food. And that's all he eats is, is booze and snack food. And he's been doing that for years, hasn't yeah. he? For years. Sure, for years. Now, how about for you guys? What do you survive on? Isn't that what all rock and rollers survive on? <laughs> we, start, we survive on <laughs> Like, you're making fun of Lemmy, but he always survives on that. Everybody survives on that. Well, we survive on coffee. Coffee, cereal, and video games. Cigarettes. Yeah, Big. Cigarettes for, some guys, yeah. for some of the guys, not right. Me, I smoke a lot. So. so would you say that Gerard has any similarities with Axl Rose at all, considering the metal tendencies of My Chemical Romance? Um... No, I mean... I'm a, I'm a big fan, but I hope I'm not like him. I mean, he's a great performer, but yeah. that's about it, you know, like... I thought you, Gerard, have to dance. You have to dance. Well, I like dance, dance. moves. And, and the, the funny thing is I can't dance off stage at all. I have no rhythm. Only when I'm the sorry. band's Yeah, when, when he's playing, you got to see some of the stuff he pulls out. Yeah, there could was, you pull something out for us, please? Can you do an Axel? He did this one move where he was like like some bur like burlesque, like Broadway, like did a high kick, and I just I started cracking up. It was so cool. Ass spanking. The ass spanking is new. You know, you just is that Axel ass spanking? No, no, Axel's more of like a shimmy, yeah, shimmy or something. Kind of I don't, I'm not a shimmy type of guy. I like the ass spanking. But I think that's a compliment to be compared to Axel Rose. You no, know, I do take that as a compliment. I just think he's crazy. You're though. talking about the good back the when good he was like Axel. But is there something bad about Axel? Remember when he showed up on the music awards looking like a football player? Uh, yeah, he looked yeah, I, 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 I totally love the guy, though. But. Fat Mike once told me that if you get braids, you get more chicks. Is that true? <laughs> Is that what Fat Mike said? Um, I would that. never get braids, so I would never know. But Axel wearing braids is okay. It's okay, isn't it? Or did that kind of make you a bit mad? I think the bandana made it okay. I don't know. I, ju I just was not happy with his whole look. Plus, he couldn't sing worth a damn when he came. Like, he was just off. He was running around too much. I don't know. He's still better in Velvet Revolver, isn't he? What? <laughs> Come on, Axel is better than an entire Velvet Revolver. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We got to see them. We played a show with them. It was pretty impressive, I thought. My Chemical Romance, we're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. What are some Canadian connections for you guys? Um, let's see. Do we have any Canadian connections? In Europe, did you not sing the song Mother with Death from Above? That's right, Death from Above 1979, who were Canadians. Oh, that's right. They're the only Canadian band we like. <laughs> Oh, we like that band we went on tour face to face with. Oh, oh, um, oh, what are they called? You just saw them a couple They're great too. from London. Chris Hans, do you know who was, uh, who was out on tour with face to face? It's embarrassing, almost. Seconds to go. Seconds to go, that's it. Yeah, Seconds to go. They're really good. Um, yes, yeah, so we were in this, the, this really small place that has a really good jukebox that plays Danzig, and we kept talking about Danzig all day. And Death from Above said, yeah, we're going to play right after we played a gig together that night in, the, in the, some big room. And then they said, let's go to the club and do Mother. And it was really fun. You did Mother together. Mother, you and Death from Above. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Those are great dudes. And they cut good hair, too. Yeah, I understand. He cut your hair. What did he do? Um, well, it was long. That was Jesse of Death from Above. Let's yeah, give him some yeah, credit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that was Jesse. And he cut my hair. Well, he told me he dated a lot of hairdressers. Mm -hmm. And he, I think he called it bullshit art is what he called it. 
like that. So he said, yeah, Eddie, and he like said anybody can do it. Anybody. Yeah. And so he, I said, all right, cut my hair, and he did a great job. So there's a continuing Canadian connection because one of Danzig's drummers was Canadian. Chuck Biscuits. Chuck Biscuits. <laughs> and he was Canadian. Chuck Biscuits is from Van. Vancouver. It's from Vancouver. He used to play in DOA. Vancouver today. And you're in Vancouver today. Yeah. And oh, it continues on my chemical romance because Chuck Biscuits also drummed in the Circle, Circle Jerks. Oh, he drummed Keith Morris on our record. Keith Morris, what's the connection between My Chemical Romance and Keith Morris' Circle Jerk Dude? You thank him twice on your CD, twice. <laughs> he is a great guy who came out to see us in New York at the CMJ Music Marathon. And uh, we became friends right about then. And then when we did the record, um, Frank ran into him in a yes, convenience. Yeah, gas, gas station. station. And he asked him if he would be on the record. It was one of the most amazing experiences ever. And you ended up directing him. Here you are working with one of your idols, Keith yeah. Morris from yeah, the no, Circle Jerks. Him and Frankie were there. Frank was up there. in the vocal attic with him, and I was at the control board with the callback buttons and everything, like pushing the buttons. And because I don't think anybody working with us knew who he was. No. We were like so excited, and they were just like, "Why are these guys so excited?" And, you know. How do you think Keith felt about that? Like here you are, the new youngins on the block, My Chemical. Uh, romance. And you've probably sold oh, at least a couple million, right? Uh, no, not nearly that. Well, Keith Morris would think about that. So I think he thinks, <laughs> sitting in the vocal booth, and there's these youngins yelling at him, do this, do this, and he's thinking, these guys are taking over and they're telling me what to do. No, he asked for that. He actually asked for direction. Um, we didn't want to tell him to do anything, because what he was doing was awesome. Like, he was telling stories, he was telling jokes. We had them all on tape. Um, he was singing, he was yelling, it was just awesome. We just, he wanted direction. A lot of guys, like, once you switch hats like that, you know, um, you, you want direction. Like, you could have probably Steven Tyler or somebody, and once he gets up in that thing, he wants somebody to direct him. I feel that way. But he wants some payback, too, doesn't he, My Chemical Romance? Because didn't he say to you guys, kill everyone now? He did. He called up, I think he called up Frank. Oh, and he that told, was probably for, before a show, right? Before a show and said to kill everybody. Yeah, and Frank still says that to me every time we talk on the phone kill everybody. So here we are with My Chemical Romance in Vancouver, BC, Canada. We have Death from Above. We have that other band you played with with Face to Face. Seconds to Go. Seconds to Go. We have Chuck Biscuits. We have the Circle Jerky in Connection. But we have another band too that you thank on your CD, My Chemical Romance. Mon... Monine. Oh, Monine. Monine. That's right. That's right. Monine is a very awesome band. We did the Reggie and the Full Effect tour with them. Great guys. They come out and see us every time. We did some fun shows in Quebec, I think, with them, or Montreal. Yeah. And uh, they're and we great. Saw them, we just saw them uh, last, last time we, when we were in Montreal, I guess. Everybody's hair is really long. You thank the Monine. I think they might have dreadlocks, don't they? Uh, they have hippie. Hippie, hippie, hippie has hippie. dreadlocks. But they all have way longer hair now. And they rock, too, don't they? They rock. They rock hard. They're great performers. Great I will never, we did this, uh, the last show of the Reggie tour that we were on with them, uh, we, we, did, we were playing practical jokes and stuff on each other. And like, uh, I remember Kyle jumped, jumped, like climbed the friggin' Uh, up on this PA speakers, like he must have been like 20 feet high. I don't know, it was high, and he jumped off and like was still playing his guitar and did like this front roll flip while he's playing, and he's just amazing. He's just, yeah. They're a great guy. Not like your front man who's doing Axl Rose moves. Yeah, I have ne I've never seen him jump off speakers before. Nah. Yeah, come on, get with it. I don't mess that, with that man. stuff. I don't mess with that stuff at all. That. Man, he's got his ass. I don't want to hurt myself. How much of a leash do you keep on your front man in My Chemical Romance? You really can. You just kind of let him do his thing and, you know. How about the after parties and stuff? Do you know what he gets up to? Do you know what Gerard gets up uh, to? Wild, wild video game play. Because <laughs> there's a disgusting video game Well, play. there's another Canadian connection that I don't think you knew. I don't know if he told you about it, but you were spotted partying with... Hot Hot Heat! Oh, that's right. Hot Hot Heat. They're a Canadian band. See, we're finding out all these bands that we like. Our Canadian, um, Hot Hot Heat. Yeah, they came out to see us a couple times. They came out in London to see us. Mm -hmm. They came out in L.A. to see us. They're great guys. And we went bowling with yeah. them at the used record release party. Some of the coolest, sweetest, most down-to-earth guys I've ever met, ever. More Canadian connections with My Chemical Romance. Romance. My Chemical Romance. Now, looking at you guys, it doesn't look like you are wearing bulletproof vests. No, but we have them right over here. I'll go grab it. You really do have bulletproof vests. Yeah. They What's don't... the deal behind this? Um... I don't know. It was Frank and Gerard's idea. They came up with it, and we were in Japan, and uh, there was a store that had them. 
Now, is this the sort of thing that, like, say, 50 Cent would have? Like, tell me about it. That's part of the inspiration is 50 Cent. Um, it's a bulletproof vest. I mean, there's a lot of reasons we wanted it. What are the interesting things about an actual vest that you didn't maybe know about? Like, what can you tell the people about these vests? Uh, like, what would 50 Cent, would he go, ha ha, this is the budget version? He probably would, because his probably has real Kevlar in it, whereas these don't. So if you actually went to shoot us, it would go right through it. So there's no Kevlar well, in it. Why don't we our skin because we have superpowers? Yeah. Now, do you have your pajamas here at all, Gerard? Ah, uh, they're on the bus. Because you have some neat pajamas too, don't you? Hey, okay. research, huh? You did the research. What are the pajamas? Well, yes, put that behind you to symbolize my chemical romance. Um, to symbolize Danzig, maybe. Danzig. Um, well, I got them in Japan, and it's like a full bodysuit. It's almost borderline plushies. You know what plushies are? Those people that get obsessed with wearing bear costumes and hump each other. It's almost borderline that kind of thing. Uh, it's a full uh, skeleton outfit, and it's got the skull that covers my head. And I don't let people take pictures of me in it, but I heard there's some a French website that has pictures of me in it. No, you're not exactly from Lodi, New Jersey, are you? No, that's no. where the Misfits are from. That's where the Misfits are from. And did you know, Gerard, that there was a new band out there called the Misfats? Are you serious? A tribute band. The Miss Fats. Are they fat dudes? Yes, they are. And they are from Portland, and they have a song com called, Come on, Mummy, Let's Grill Tonight. Are you serious? Yes, they are. And have you guys done any hunting around New Jersey for any Misfits stuff? I mean, because being from New Jersey, where the Misfits are from. Well, I have some good Misfits vinyl, some good bootleg vinyl. And there's, um, there's a really cool, remember that? Have you ever been to that candy store? Our friend uh, Eddie, uh, he, uh, he used to tour manage us, a real good friend. He lives in Lodi, and he used to be friends with a lot of those guys when they were yeah. younger. And there's this candy shop that, which is a really small candy shop That's in right Lodi, that has all these Misfits posts, like original Misfits posters on the ceiling and stuff. And so you're allowed to look but not take. Yeah, 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 you can't touch a guy I know, Mike Lavella, who runs Gearhead Records, he knew Glenn Danzig, and one day he went over to Glenn Danzig's house. Not too long ago, Glenn Danzig opened up a cupboard and said, take whatever shirt you want. And it was like every single Misfits t-shirt. Oh, that's pretty incredible. So Danzig opened up to the fan. Now, you guys in the position of My Chemical Romance, have you had a chance to be able to take stuff? I know it's fun to go to a candy store and like look up and see a poster, but how about yourself? Have you met anybody and been able to get a lock of David Bowie's hair or anything like that, or got any cool stuff? Um, I I got drunk with the dude that played Gollum in Lord of the Rings. That's not bad. Um, I saw Courtney Love's butt, but then who hasn't? Now how did that? Well, I haven't. Please tell me about that, My Chemical Romance. It was, well, it was at that. It was at the same party. It was at this Oscar party that we somehow ended up at, and uh, Courtney Love was showing her tits and I mean breasts and 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 butt all over the place. I was and, retarded. And you were looking. Of course. Um, did you go up to her? Like, did she know you guys? Did she say anything? I, I think she was so zonked out of her mind. I, I, I was kind of <laughs> too. I didn't even. I don't think I met her. There was no like videos you could post because I know for this tour, Taste of Chaos, there's all these videos on the use.net. But how about like videos that you could post of that? Like, have you been carrying around cameras? We do. We've had a camera with us since last Warp tour, so it's we have a lot of footage. But none of Courtney loves. <laughs> no, uh, but not her. Not her. Not no not of her butt. Winding up here, my chemical romance, New Jersey. What are some interesting places in New Jersey? I understand there's a place called the Tick Tock. Oh, the Tick Tock oh, Diner. Yeah, the Tick Tock Diner on Route 3. Yeah, that, that is the diner we all go to. And I read about the Tick Tock, quote, an interesting place they do, indeed, the Tick Tock. One of the interesting things about the Tick Tock is they bring the mayo to the table in plastic packets. <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, don't you guys have that here, though? Usually when you get mayo, like it's on the burg, or maybe like it's in the, it on the side. Yeah, like I think it's neat that it's in like little plastic packets. You get mayo on the side. There's really good coffee there, too. Great, great uh, penny vodka, too. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anywhere else we should check out? Like we should check out the TikTok in New Jersey, the candy shop with the Misfits photos. Yeah, Where is that? Where is that again? It's in Lodi. Lodi. It's in Lodi. It. But what you should do, there's a magazine called Weird New Jersey. And you can find the coolest stuff in New Jersey in that magazine. They give you kind of directions, because they, they're not allowed to really print the directions in the, all kinds of weird haunted places. You know, any favorites for you? Because believe it or not, here we are at the P&E Forum. This is the Pacific National Exhibition in Vancouver. Boris Karloff helped build this place. Are you kidding me? Before he was big, well, he always was big, when he was working as a laborer, he helped build this place. So that's the vibe you're getting tonight. Boris Karloff right there on our uh, wardrobe case. Wow, a Canadian connection! Is he from Canada? Well, he worked in Vancouver at least. Vancouver, yeah, he yeah. helped build where you're playing tonight. That's awesome. I'm a big Boris Karloff fan. So that's a little tidbit about Vancouver, but how about New Jersey? Just to wind up here, my chemical romance. Anything in that weird New Jersey thing, that mag? Place called Midgetville. 
There's a place called Midgetville. Midgetville is a it's a community of very small houses where very small people live. And I heard you get in some serious trouble for yeah, going people, in. Well, yeah, people are so like pissed off about people driving through cause people, like all hours of the night that they'll like pull guns on you and stuff if you go yeah. through. And then there's the uh, so Demon's, Demon's Alley. Alley. It's the same kind of thing where it's favorite of mine. It's just this empty. Was it the Jackson Whites? Is that where they live? It's no, the Jackson Whites. But it's this it's this alley, right? It's this empty cul-de-sac that has just these houses and surrounded by woods. And the houses are all abandoned, but somebody went and painted lampshades on all the wood boards on the windows. So it looks real creepy. This is some amazing stuff for like a video for my chemical romance. Would you be allowed to go into any of these areas? Some of them. Some of them maybe not come out alive. That's the problem. Yeah. There's a couple of insane asylums too. Are any in any of your videos? Um, no, I mean no. Mm -mm. We try to actually do what might be a little away from what people would think what we do for a video. I think that's. I think Helene is the most representative of what we would do, but we try to change it up all the time. Well, thanks so much, my chemical romance. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Hmm. Um, thanks for letting us buy PSPs in your country. Yeah. We really appreciate. It. He's he's playing one right now. He's playing mine actually right now because he doesn't have his own. So I'm waiting for him to get off it so I can play. Oh, and for Vancouver, we've actually missed two or three shows here. Oh, is this, where, is, this the, where? is this the show where the power went off? Yeah, well, we played Warp Tour here and the power went off. The first time we were supposed to be here with Piebald, we actually didn't make it into the border. Second time, first time we ever actually played, there was no power, got cut off halfway through, and then our van broke down the third time. So we've only made one show here ever, I think. How was that? It was incredible. When the power went out, everybody sang the words, and we just finished the song and, and ended. It was a really incredible day. So that was good, and it's worth it today, playing in the house that Karloff built. Yeah, I'm way psyched on that. I had no idea. Gerard of My Chemical Romance, why should people care about My Chemical Romance? They should care about My Chemical Romance because it's five very real, normal, simple dudes that just want to change the world with their music and just be honest about what they're doing as opposed to being into it for the wrong reasons. Well, thanks so much, my chemical romance. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Do? What, what's the oh, rest? Just do. do. Just do. No, do 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 do. do.